We focus on uh, patient-centered care. Uh, and I think one of the crucial things about the management of cancer patients in general is multidisciplinary management. So interaction between the medical oncologist, the radiation oncologist, the thoracic surgeon, the radiologist, the intervention radiologist. This actually happens a lot of time at the, back, at, at the background. Patients don't necessarily see that, but that's a crucial part of what we do. And that differentiates us from uh, many, many other management plans. Or, or, so our patient care is focused on interaction between physicians. We also have uh, present our patients uh, uh, into a multidisciplinary tumor board where we actually review the scans, review the pathology. So we really have a very good feel of the patient. By the time I see the patient in the clinic, very often that had already happened. There are stages of the cancer where the cancer presents in the lung with involvement of the lymph nodes in the chest. Uh, ten years ago, uh, people used to do surgery for this, and we discovered through research that that's not the right thing to do. And perhaps the right thing to do is avoiding surgery or trying to downstage, meaning kill these lymph nodes, or bring the cancer into a lower stage by what we call induction or neoadjuvant therapy, that's called induction therapy. And that has become a standard that you give uh, induction chemotherapy, sometimes induction chemotherapy and radiation before surgery. And that, that team approach is very, very essential to the patient outcome. And certainly uh, it has been shown clearly that it affects outcome. It gives me comfort, it gives the patient comfort knowing that the radiologist that's looking in his scan actually knows the story. That, that is multidisciplinary management and that's what we have.